We've been driving for about an hour and a half um, and I'm beginning to wonder why I had this madcap idea of driving out to Camerwheel Caves National Park and I blame my sister. She and her partner Andy drove, I don't know, or planned to drive this weekend about three hours away from home to see some cicadas. So why not drive two and a half to three hours away from the cabin to see some caves? Thanks for the encouragement, Ange. Today we are leaving the delights of our little cabin at Sunset Caravan Park and heading off to where, babe? We're going to Camelwheel to see some caves that we're not allowed to go into. <laughs> Camelwheel National, Camelwheel Caves National Park. Okay. We're at the Camel Wheel Molomite Caves and we can't go, in. we're not allowed to go into the caves. What we're actually seeing are sinkholes that look like this. And if you look over there, you can see the actual sinkhole, not a picture of it. And this is dolomite. So it doesn't form, it's soluble in water. So it, the caves all are cut out by the water underground. Um, but it's not as soluble as limestone, so it doesn't fall much in the way of stalactites and stalagmites. You can view two of these caves here, Little Narani and Great Narani. This is Little Narani. There are 80 known um, sinkhole caves, mostly in the Camerwheel area, but these are the only two that you allowed to take a look at. I guess the others are a bit too dangerous. So here we go. Over to the bigger cave now. It's just down the path from the small one. Um, it's pretty cool. They go down really deep um, and managed to get some aerial footage to show you what it looks like from above. But this cave is much, much bigger, much, much longer. There's a massive rift in the ground, and I can't help wondering how many animals might have fallen down there, a bit of a macabre fall. Yes, hopefully not this animal. <laughs> well first we get to walk through this little alleyway, it's pretty cool. Oh wow, that is impressive. Yeah, Check that now. out. That is cool. That is super cool. Even though these caves look 
pretty lifeless during the day, we know that um, ghost bats roost in them and um, ghost bats would also draw in pythons that are hunting for them. And there's water down there, so there's fungi growing and there are frogs, all sorts of things that live in the depths of these caves. And I think this one goes down to about 70 meters. I will put the exact depth um, in writing on the video when I've checked up on my facts. I just love the colors. So many different colors. It took a bit of perseverance, but we have actually found the Mary Kathleen mine site. Um, some of the signposts are missing, but some kind folk who had visited the area showed us where it was. We were originally going to stay at the free camp at the Mary Kathleen ghost town or village. Um, but of course, since our van is broken, we're not going to. And talking about our van, um, we seem to be making progress, um, the RACQ has been fantastic and they've managed to find us a slightly bigger cabin which we will be moving into tomorrow which will be lovely because we're a bit cramped, I'm trying not to be ungrateful but a little bit cramped and it will be nice to have a little bit more space to cook and to work in. Meanwhile, we have been thoroughly exploring the fauna, flora, geology and mining of Mount Isa and we only I do think it's worth remembering that this was a uranium mine so there's a bit of radioactivity in the area um, apparently not harmful to our health unless we drink the water or go swimming so the color of the water and the colors that you see on the rocks are all a result of the different minerals that are contained in the rock so I don't really know much about it but um, the reds would have come from iron in the rock and I guess the greens from copper I'm not sure where the other colors come from and all around here kind of behind the mountains they've got these huge piles of dumped rock which they've mined and I guess extracted the uranium and then they've dumped the rock 
it doesn't look too bad to be honest um, and I'm not sure if this mine has been rehabilitated at all it doesn't look like it I'm gonna look that up keep you posted And we wanted to check out this um, free spot. It's a free camping place called Clem Walton Park. And it is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. There are birds everywhere. There's a creek that you can swim in. But these gorgeous rocky outcrops, 